in today's video I am doing three instant pot slash crock pot meals. Um, I came up with these recipes but I am still trying to learn them. Um, still just trying to know how much seasoning um, I want in these. They are very known recipes um, but the third one is my own it's my family's recipe um and you can honestly do whatever you want to these i just gave you like the base but i hope you enjoy today's video and i hope you enjoy my recipes that i have for you for the first recipe we are doing chicken noodle soup um and i cooked this in my instant pot i just did a rotisserie chicken with carrots some egg noodles and i used that whole bag half of a bag of frozen peas or you can use any kind of peas i just use frozen peas onion powder parsley uh, garlic powder pepper turmeric ground um, paprika salt and Italian seasoning that is everything that I used you can put other seasonings in there um, that's just what I like I love garlic powder onion powdered powder and Italian seasoning those are like my three main seasonings that I always cook with um, if you have different ones you can pick them and if you don't want some of them if you're allergic you can always swap them out for things that you would like also the turmeric I always use that it's just a healthy thing to put in there it doesn't change its color like normal turmeric does um, but it just gives it better flavor and makes it healthier um, I love turmeric so I use that and I also just chopped up the carrots into thirds um, you can do that however you would like you don't have to chop the carrots but you can and then I use two chicken broth um, containers whatever they're called and then I just put water in it you can use how much water however much water or none at all it's a completely up to you and then I just chopped up some onions and threw it all in the instant pot also use any type of chicken that you would like or you can substitute it for um, vegan options you don't have to use chicken um, the rotisserie chicken was just the easiest for me um, and then same with the egg noodles you don't have to use egg noodles you can use whatever noodle noodles <laughs> that you prefer um, I just like the egg noodles because they get thicker and they're more doughy um, so I just like that more but it's completely up to you go ahead and change this recipe to your liking um, I'm just giving you the base if you want to copy it exactly how i did it is super delicious and i just let it go for hours in the day even though it's in an instant pot and it's done within like 30 minutes even less like 10 minutes um i just let it go all day and just let it sit and i made enough this whole like pot that i made um had six servings and those servings were pretty big you could make it even like 10 servings honestly um it lasted for three days and we had it for lunch and dinner so it's completely up to you i'm not i'm not missing Here I am just cleaning up the mess it made so everything was meal prepped that is also a great thing about meal prepping is my onions and my carrots my chicken was all meal prepped from the night before um, before this um, so everything was just ready for me to throw in that's what is a really good thing about meal prepping so if you are going to make this I honestly do recommend start meal prepping if you already don't it makes things last longer smell better not gooey or anything like that um, and it's already prepped for you yeah, all you know is superficial some of it stays some of it goes like a trend you are a symbol And 
this is what the chicken noodle soup looks like once it's done. It's super delicious. If you remake it, let me know and I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you would know by now. The next recipe is a pot roast. I just did onions, potatoes, carrots, beef broth, some different steak seasonings, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. Um, again, you can use whatever you like. You can add different things into it, different vegetables, um, or a different broth, or different seasonings. Honestly, do it however you want um, to your liking. And you can honestly switch things out. You don't have to use meat. Um, you can use different things like tofu or anything like that. Um, you can switch anything, <laughs> I promise. Um, this is just the base and for you guys to kind of get inspiration. So I am just cutting the potatoes in half. Um, you don't have to cut them in half. I just did just because I want them in half. Um, but yeah, you can leave them full. The more they sit though, the more they do get soft and soggy. So that is completely up to you. Maybe it is because I cut them open. If I didn't cut them open, maybe they would have stayed more solid. Um, I'm not really sure. This was honestly my first time making a pot roast. Um, and it was really good. It turned out super good and I'll be making it more. But yeah, next time I make it, I'm going to try it in the Instant Pot and see which one I like more. And I just used half of that container of beef broth. Um, so pretty much I would say like two cups. Um, and then I just put some water in it also. Um, but yeah, I just did it to my liking. Um, you can use as much as you want. Um, but yeah, that's just what I chose to do. <laughs> And just cleaning up um, all of my meal prepping stuff to put in the fridge um, and then I also set it for seven to eight hours um, you can do six hours or eight hours that worked best for me or however hours work best for you um, but I want my meat more tender and I checked in on it every hour um, but if you are working going to work or whatever um, and you can't check it every hour is completely fine i just wanted to see how it was doing and cooking um but yeah so that just worked best for me yourself just like i do maybe you would know by now i really like you i'm not missing you i'm not full of myself just like you also started um, this dinner at I think 10 a.m. and it was about 6 o'clock when we ate and I just paired it with um, some mashed potatoes. I think that was like perfect um, with it. Um, but yeah, that's just how it turned out. Everything was perfect. The carrots were super soft. The potatoes were good. The broth was super good and the meat was super tender. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you recreate it. For this one, I'm just going to call it meat stew. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's meat stew to me. So what I used was two cans of tomato sauce, corn, kidney beans, onions, garlic, 
um, carrots beef broth. I use like two and a half or one and a half um, containers of beef broth and I also put water and then I put potatoes and that one I cut also and same with the carrots and then I use garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning and then steak seasoning. You can use whichever you want. You don't have to use meat for this one either. You can use chickpeas or tofu or anything that you really want. Even You don't even have to put anything in it to substitute it. Just make it vegetable. Um, and I have made it that way as well. I made that when I was pregnant. I did not like meat when I was pregnant. So everything that I had was just vegetables. And I actually just did lots of beans and corn and onions, carrots, potatoes, lots of seasonings. And I used vegetable broth instead of beef broth while I was pregnant. And it was perfect. Um, I actually prefer this soup with no meat. Um, if I were to use meat, I would use lean meat. And that's what I did. Um, but yeah, I would just really like lean meat or vegetables it's really good um but if you make anything from this video i really would make this this soup it is so so good i don't know what is so good about it but it is so good honestly just throw whatever you want in it and it will be good um i almost put some edamame that would be good in it um just choose what you want in it and it will be delicious you feel so far away though you're close With your mind that I wanna know A penny for your thoughts I wanna know what's inside that heart of yours So while putting it in here, I just threw all the vegetables in and then I started loading in like the cans, um, veggies, the broth and like the water and then the seasonings. Um, and then this went, I would say for eight hours as well. Since it was in the instant pot, it did not take long at all. And the meat I used was very tender. Um, but I would still just cook it like all day if you can. The more it cooks, the better it gets. And then like once you put it in the fridge to go for overnight, it would be better the next day. It always is for me. Um, so you can just cook it however long you want and um, you can cook it in a pot that's how my stepdad cooks it and then you can also cook it in um, a crock pot or an instant pot whatever you would like I liked cooking it in the instant pot or the crock pot um, just because it does all the work for you it's easy and then I stirred it just every little bit and it was just delicious
cooked that is honestly all the instant pot and crock pot meals that i have for you they are all super easy and super super tasty um i really hope you give them a try and enjoy them if you do please let me know how you enjoyed it and if you liked it um and i hope you got lots of inspiration and some new recipes to try out from this video um but yeah i will see you guys next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also follow my instagram our little bloom and i will see you guys next time bye Thin.